What's happening folks, it's Abhinav from Phone Bunch and this is the Hive Buzz and it's truly the strangest phone I've ever seen. So before we get to why this is a very strange phone, let me talk about specs. So you have a 5.5 inch 1080p display, 2.5D curved glass on top. You have Android 5.1 running on the device with MediaTek MT6753, 3 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of onboard storage. We'll also get a 32 gig microSD card inside the box. Now the strange things start right here. You can see those buttons. They are at the back. Not in the middle of the back, on the side. Then you have flaps for everything. First of all, you have a flap to remove the SIM tray, which is sort of acceptable. Uh, you have two separate SIM card slots and a separate micro SD card slot. So good job there. That's not all. You have a flap for the 3.5M audio jack as well. So that's two. There's one more port on the phone, right? So at the bottom you have a USB Type-C port and yes, you have a flap for that one as well. Now there's a reason for all these flaps. This phone is IPX4 rated for water resistance. But those make this phone look really cheap and well, those buttons are absolutely horrendous. They are very hard to press and if you hold the phone like I am right now, they are not that easily reachable. So very poor design choices here. The back cover does look a bit cheap as well as does the entire plastic frame of the device. It just doesn't speak quality. Now between the fingerprint sensor and the camera module, there is a hexagonal light, which is the notification LED. Again, it is on the back of the device instead of the front. So weird decision number I have forgotten by now. The display, however, does have decent viewing angles and good color reproduction. Moreover, this phone is running on stock Android, but it is Android 5.1 Lollipop, so it is quite a bit behind. But the company says that they are working on a Marshmallow update. But given that this is a new brand, they should have gone with Android Marshmallow out of the box. Now, out of the 16 gig storage, you'll get about 10 odd gigs when you get the device. You will get a 32 gig micro SD card within the box as well. So that's neat stuff. Then this one has 3 gigs of RAM, out of which about 1.7 gigs is free right now, which is again pretty common. Now the main thing with this phone is that the company is focusing on service. So they are saying that you will get 2 years of warranty with this phone and 1 year of accidental damage protection as well. Those are actually quite neat. But this phone is priced at Rs 13999. At this price point, there is a lot of competition. And especially given those weird design decisions, this is going to be a very hard sell. Well folks, that was a first look at the Hive Buzz. If you want more information on it, there is a link in description. Do check that out. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.